Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today I thought we would just do some embellishing of what we've already created. This was the last video that we did where we made this uh, little booklet, 5x7 booklet closure insert to keep the double doors closed. And then we have a vellum uh, pocket, slot pocket. So we the whole uh, mat, I turned it into a pocket instead of just a mat. And then we have this flip out and we have a pocket here. Well, I'm not going to work on the inside of this part right now because honestly and truly, I am just behind. <laughs> so I thought we would finish embellishing maybe this and the inserts for here and the inside of this. And we would play with some uh, vintage envelopes and inserts and things like that. If you want to see this video, I will link it right here and down below in the description box. But there's also a playlist specifically for this album from start to finish. It will take you from uh, the intro to the templates all the way through step by step to um, finish the whole album. Obviously, we're not finished at this current moment. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, May 20th. Pretty sure. Yes. So I don't have a video for you guys today, so I thought I would just do what I, I would record what I have prepped and ready and what I think I'm going to do. <laughs> I would just record that really quick and try to get it edited, <laughs> edited, <laughs> edited, and then uploaded for you guys today. So the playlist specifically for this start to finish is called the Gingham Gardens. Oops. I will link that up here and down below in the description box. Gingham Gardens by My Mind's Eye, and I had one sheet of 12 by 12 left that I used, and I'll show you that in a little bit, um, that I've already got prepped to mat the inside of the doors. So what I ended up doing was grabbing the extra pieces that I purchased. Um, I think I got two of each one that I liked the most, but you know, I want to use, I think I'm going to use my favorite one on the cover. So there's one of those that I can't use. So I need to kind of remember that. And I might use one of the other florals on the cover as well. Um, anyways, so I did want to tell you that. So I used two collection packs, which is six sheets of 12 by 12 double sided cardstock, which means there's 12 patterns, but there's only six sheets. So you had to have two to have one of each pattern. So I've already used up all of that. You'll see that in a minute. Not all of it, because I have some scraps. Um, and each one come with a sticker sheet. So I went ahead and grabbed the other sticker sheet because I was only using the one. So I went ahead and grabbed the other sticker sheet. But um, yeah, this, these, this, I, I haven't really used my mind's eye paper much before in the past. So um, the little collection packs, they're cheaper, but you only get six sheets and a sticker sheet. So you need to keep that in mind when you are choosing what you want to use for your album. This album is super large. And I've been supplementing this album with my shades of color, with my background designs, um, different little things in order, and, and coffee stained paper, you know, in order to really stretch this paper. And there's only two florals in the whole, uh, well, that's not true. There's this yellowy one too. That's kind of a floral. And this is kind of like a black and whitish or cream and black. Um, it's got a floral element, but uh, anyway, so, I've been stretching uh, all the little diff different bits and pieces of floral throughout the whole album because I really enjoy the floral and not so much just the plain patterns. So I've been trying to do that because it's taking a lot, a lot of paper. Again, this is a very large album. So we're trying to, um, I'm trying not to have to break up because I did buy extra, obviously, collection packs, but I'm trying not to break open another collection pack. I guess I'll have that as my backup, <laughs> just in case. We've been using embossing folders to stretch just the plain coffee stain, or just the plain, you know, shades of color. We've been doing all kinds of things. Like here, here's the shades of color where we used an embossing folder and then kind of sand it down a little bit to bring up the white, you know. So we've been, we've been, we've been uh, being very creative lately. We've been using the black and white background designs that are available in Matsy Shop. The templates are available in Matsy Shop. That'll be linked down below as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put these up because I don't, I don't, we don't need it right now. I don't believe. And if you watched my last video, you know I'm running really low on the thread 
that I've been using in my sewing machine throughout this whole album. So I think that's kind of another reason why I've kind of like stopped and because I want to be able to add sewing here but I'm literally getting ready to run out and I don't have any and this and I think I'm not sure some stores are opening today I think some of them are opening next week I don't know I guess it really doesn't matter I could order some online but I just haven't so anyway neither here nor there so I've got a bunch of stuff <laughs> that I've been playing with so I had an idea for this and I grabbed one of these six by six papers. Here it is right here. I don't know, I think it went this way, it did. Out of the six by six paper pad, we've been using that as well. I know you can't really see it that well, but I fussy cut these out. I did end up cutting a piece out of this little bottom part here. Let me bring it up to you. So that's what this six by six piece looked like to begin with. So then I fussy cut this corner and I fussy cut this piece. And then there was like a little white flower right here, but I, it just looked kind of odd. So I went ahead and cut that off. So I, I cut those out. Let me move this out of the way. Thinking that I could do something like this on this front cover but then I was also thinking I could maybe do attach this one down completely to the top and then have this one as like a little tuck pocket for maybe a, I don't know that might be too big the four by six photo but then I have these these are um, from the add-on photo mats and they are this page 15 I had printed them out and we used them in a different page or page 23 see that says 15. these were page 15 so i ended up using the other part of page 15 um on a different page so i have a couple of these so i thought about maybe that and then i have these which was page 23c which actually i think this was on the uh, this was the other part of 23c and then there was another one I have these, so I thought maybe I could use one of those, maybe. So this is kind of what I'm thinking for the cover of this little booklet. And so I've already inked up and I fussy cut and inked up the edges of these. So what do we think? Do we think that's a good idea? So I was thinking let's just go ahead and glue this one entirely down and then this one um, as a pocket and then we're just gonna leave the back side just for full journaling also someone had made the comment well why don't I would have thought the booklet would look better this way so your picture is on the cover you could totally do that too it's totally fine totally up to you 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 can do you can make whatever choices you would like in your album I just wanted to be able to decorate just a little bit on the outside here so I'm still not 100% sold on the 4x6. This one we printed out before, and it's got the journaling lines on the back. I'm still not 100% sold on putting that in there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to attach these down, and then maybe I'll use a glue stick, and then we can experiment. I am going to be using a wax seal in just a little bit, too, um, because I've printed some of the vintage envelopes and inserts out, and we haven't... We haven't used one of those in a while, so, well, that's not true. We used them in the other side of this, this fin over here on this side. And I'm just going to try this glue stick out. This is a Uhu glue stick, and I want to see how well it's going to hold the pattern paper down. So, because I could use liquid glue, like um, or glitter glue or something as well. But I just want to experiment because I haven't really used this a whole lot for this kind of thing, for like gluing the whole thing down. So we'll see. And of course, I still have my allergies going on. So I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. Also, I didn't go all the way to the edge. You see, I kind of pulled it back just a little bit. Um, I just like that look better. And I'm going to do the same for this, except I am going to have to use liquid glue. So again, I am going to have to use liquid glue to do the edge here because you don't want to use like a dry adhesive because then your inserts will get stuck. I need to clean my little nozzle out here. So this is art glitter glue. 
I don't know how far. That's good enough. Yeah, I'm going to have to clean my... I can tell that it's not uh, unclogged. <laughs> okay. I have a special Amazon list that I create for all of my projects. So that is also linked in the description box below and it is called the Gingham Gardens. Uh, basically amazing. I try to link everything that I use to the best that I can in that Amazon list. And then if it's not, in the, if I can't find it on Amazon, then I have it linked in different spots. I also have a couple scrapbooking stores linked for this paper collection and all of that jazz. All of that is down in the description box for you to check out when you so choose. So we can either do it like this. There's, I haven't even inked these up or anything. I'm just not sure. I can ink them off, off camera. So we could do this. Let's pull a book over. So this will be here like that. We could do this. I kind of feel like now I need to add something different. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, we can do that or we could do three things. Three little inserts. Uh, I kind of like that. I actually kind of like that a little better. So we'll leave it like that. We will do that. Okay, so then the next thing, let's talk, let me move this. Um, I do like it though, so we're probably gonna, we're probably gonna use it. I'm gonna put that back here. The next thing I wanna talk about is in here. So I was thinking, here's a four by six and a five by seven photo mat that has the uh, script lines printed on the back of them. The script lines is my background designs. It's from my background designs. And I believe it's set number three, in case you were curious. And they are available as of today. I don't. I, I was thinking I would leave them on for the rest of the month of May 2020, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I can't really do like coupon codes and stuff when I have those listed. So um, I'm kind of debating. So you at least have the rest of this week. So today's the 20th, so you have until what day would that be? At least, at least. Let's see. Whoops. Today is the 20th. So you have at least until the 23rd of May. That would be a full month that I have my background designs listed. Um, okay, so I want to do an envelope. So I've got these two. And I may or may not do like a pull because it actually, I thought they were going to sink in a little bit further, but they're really not. So I want to do an envelope. So the vintage envelopes and inserts. I have three sets, and we're using set one and set two in this album, and I printed off, let's see, I printed off page 17D and 18D, I printed off both in white cardstock, no, I'm sorry, it's not cardstock, white paper and coffee stained paper, and I cannot decide which one I like best. So I went ahead and printed both of those off and here's the other parts to those. So I want to use this in the insert and then I was also, while I've got this book out, um, on the vintage envelopes and insert set number two, I printed page 2E. I printed those off. I printed two of them off because I want to use the little envelopes. So, um, cover that. So here's the little envelope and the insert that goes in the little envelope. So I kind of wanted to use those on the back side of the doors. Aren't they cute? They're just, it's like having like a stationary set because I used this pattern earlier in the album. I think it's just, I think it's just too cute. So uh, I'm probably not gonna use these in the page, but oh, here's also, the insert for this larger envelope, the 18, 18D, the inserts up here. So we have these as well. So I can't decide which one I want to use. So we're just going to prep them both like, like we're going to use them both. How about that? So now let me put this out of the way. I have these linked down below. Yeah, because I was thinking we could just slide this in here like this. 
and then have a wax seal, right? But I can't decide which one I like best. So we're just gonna prep them both. We're just gonna prep them both. That's what we're gonna do. So let's move this out of the way and I'm gonna do the wax seal on both of them. Oh, but before that, we are gonna add magnets to them because I think it'd be fun for it to close onto the vellum. You know, I don't know. You'll see what I'm talking about. So I thought we would put the magnet saver on here and then put the wax seal over top of it and then the magnet itself underneath this here. So I thought we could use one of these little steel discs. These are linked down below. So these are magnet savers. They are uh, linked down below. So are the magnets. So are the different places that I've gotten the different items. I did a whole video on this called Magnets and Memoirs. I will link that up here and down below as well. Um, where I talk about uh, where I purchased all of these and um, linked them directly. But they're, again, these, all these things are linked down below in this description box as well. So I thought I would do, this is one of the sizes. I thought I would cut it in half. Right. And then I thought I would cut it in half again. So these are just Tim Holtz scissors. So these, these are super thin. And I've done this before where I've used the magnet on the, come on. I don't know why I was hesitant. Um, on the top part. And then I put the wax seal over top of it. And you can really see that magnet and the wax seal, the stamp part got stuck to the magnet. So I thought we would try it this way this time just to see. So I cut that easily, cut that. Um, I just wanted to kind of demonstrate that on camera for you guys. And then let's add it. Well, let's use a piece of double-sided adhesive to add this. So I thought it would be good on the corner here or on that little point to match up that point perfectly. I thought that's why I decided to cut it. And then we can pour the wax right over top and it's super thin and it should not get stuck to it. Like the stamp got stuck to the magnet. All right, so I'm just gonna put a teeny little piece here. That might be too much. Probably should have put it on the steel piece there. So you guys are going to have to let me know if you ordered from those companies Whoa. that, well, come on, I can't get, <laughs> it's um, stuck. If you ordered from those companies and what your experience was, I had a good experience, um, no troubles whatsoever, even right now with shipping being messed up, you know, everything just upside down, I did not have uh, it took maybe a week and a half, if that. So, the one company that does the magnets and the little disc were cheaper. Uh, the shipping was cheaper. But then again, the, whoa, the other company that had all the different size disc you know, if you if you didn't need to order so many size discs, you probably your shipping wouldn't be as expensive because those really big steel discs they were heavy. I'm not gonna lie, they were heavy. All right, let me get this back out. And I should have been melting my wax all this time. All right, let me get it out. There's my spoon. We're gonna be using that hot pink color again. And what did I use last time? Am I using the? I think I'm using that rose one. Um, the heck of a little teeny tiny rose. Maybe we'll do a little teeny tiny one on these cute little envelopes. That'd be cute. Maybe we'll do that too. We'll see. Wouldn't that be cute? I guess we could experiment. Let's do that. But let's start with the big ones first. So this is a trio of colored wax beads. And I'm worried that I'm going to end up going through all these hot pink ones. These are linked in my Amazon, but they, they work pretty well. So, all right. Huh. 
Okay, that one is good and melted now. And I'm just gonna pour it over top of that little disc there, that little piece of the pie. I'm gonna go ahead and add two more in there and let them melt. And we'll put our little oh, stamp on there. And we will wait again. <laughs> okay, let's check this really quick. Yeah, it's not too bad. You can't really see the disc under there, so that's good. I'm happy about that. So cute. All right, let's do this one. So for the small one, let's try just one bead, wax bead. And I guess I need to grab it. So cute. This little rose is so cute. It's so tiny. I wonder if I could maybe too big. Oh, oh, that is so cute. <laughs> you can't see it. I'll have to bring it up once this dries a little bit, but that is adorable. What if I could stamp. That is too precious. You could just see like the center. Okay. Alright. Looks like you might be able to see that one just a little bit better. On the steel disc just a little bit better. But not too bad. Alright. So I'm thinking I might only pour just a little bit on here. We'll see. A little bit there and then a little bit on this one there's I think one whole bead for these little tiny ones might be too much Off. There was a lot of extra wax in there too. That's okay. Oh, I'm just gonna show you this little bitty teeny tiny little thing right here. Oh my god. Let me put it on this envelope. That's so, that's so cute. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see detail or not. Come on right here. For some reason, it's not auto focusing. Can you see that teeny, t tiny little dot? It's got the rose imprint on it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's so cute. Oh. All right, moving on. Well, this one's not coming off. There we go. So that's cute. Just an itty bitty. Itty bitty bitty little wax seal there. Let's get this one off of here. There we go. Oh, that's adorable. I'm glad we went ahead and did that. <laughs> Why not, right? You'll see how we're going to use these here in a little bit, but okay. Let me move this aside. Gonna let that wax dry just a little bit more before I can put that spoon up. All right, now we need to add the magnet that goes, that will attach down to there. So I'm going to grab two magnets. And I don't think, I don't think it matters. It's going to attach to that steel regardless of what um, side. Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure. So I'm going to take a little piece of tape on each one of these and... I probably could have done this a little differently to make it a little easier, but that's 
it's okay. All right, I'm gonna remove the backing off of one. All right, so I'm going to lay this in here on my try to. And I'm going to scoot it under here. Yeah, well, maybe I shouldn't use my little pointy because it's getting stuck. I'm going to scoot it under there. And then I'm hoping that the magnet will find the steel before it finds the paper. So it should have, yeah. You see how it um, attached to the inside there? That is exactly what I want. Same on this side. Now, let's see which one looks better inside here. So this was my initial thought that I would do this one because um, the contrast. Oh, I guess I should also point out what I'm going to put on those two flaps there, the inside of those flaps. This is page, um, is it 71B? This is the mats for these doors. So this was the last piece of 12 by 12 that I have. I cut down, that I had in my original first two sets of collection, the collection pack. Uh, I cut it down to eight and a half by 11. I ran it through my printer and put the shades of color on it first on the back, right? Put the green shades of color. What number was this? This is 27 because it's a, it's really just the, the cream and black um, color. And then I printed page 71B on top, which is the mat for that page. So the thought was I would do an envelope up here and then one of these on here and have a paper clip to where it slides under just like we did in a previous video in another page um, so I thought I would do that on both sides so this was my original thought of having that but now that I'm seeing it with the green I'm kind of digging the coffee stained paper hmm interesting we could maybe even embellish this envelope just a little bit more. What do we think? But I do like it that it's like magnetized through the vellum. I <laughs> think that's super cute. I don't know which one to do. Uh, I mean, I've got them both pre prepped, so I guess you know you guys can vote and down in the comments and tell me which one you like, which one you like better, <laughs> the coffee stained or this. So what we'll do is we'll prepare the other things while we make those decisions and come back to it. So I'm gonna move all these extra little bits and pieces out of the way. So I'm gonna cut these out. I could get my paper, I should just cut these out. I'm gonna cut these out. I'm gonna cut these two pieces out. I'm gonna ink everything up and then I'll be right back. That's what I'm gonna do. So I've got everything cut out. Oops, that's not right. Just goes this way. Right, <laughs> cut everything out, inked it up. So my thought was these could go up here at the top and these could go down here. Um, so these are going to be glued down, and I think it would be fun to do the little paper clip thingy on these sides to hold those in. I wonder, I was thinking about doing, let me show you what I was thinking about doing because it's been a while since I've done it in the video. And here it is. Where uh, on this page here, where I cut a slit into the paper. And then I attached the um, paper clip from behind and then put the mat down. And then that way the envelope can just slide up under there like that. I was thinking about doing that. But I don't know, since we're doing like mirroring, maybe we'll just do a big paper clip. Not a big paper clip, but like a regular paper clip like this and then it can slide under like that maybe what do we think I don't 
No, I don't know. I guess I could use the big paper clip instead of the small paper clip because I wanted to be able to hold it down firmer. Let's do that because I was going to use one of the little Tim Holtz paper clips, but these are just little rusted paper clips. So we're just going to do that. So now I just need to decide, okay, where this is going to go. Where the paper clip's going to go. It's going to be hard to do the mirror image. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. So. I'm kind of feeling like, you guys, I'm feeling like something needs to go here. Any thoughts on that? We can just raise these up and down. Ah. Nope. They, something else needs to happen. What do we think needs to happen? I don't know what needs to happen. But I do like these up here. So either way, that's these are going up here. So these may not get attached. We may not use those. So for now, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to mark where I want this paper clip. So I'm going to grab both of them. Let's see. Did I mark that on the wrong side? No, it's fine. It doesn't matter. I can have them on this way. So I'm going to just put them like this. And I'm going to cut through both of them at the same time with my craft knife. So that way they're in the exact same spot. And don't know how much how, I don't I really didn't need that big of a slit but neither here nor there okay so then the idea is that the skinny part goes under there like this or the skinny the little part goes under there and so then there's one side and then here's the other so again the little part goes in the slit Right, so they should be almost exact. They are, they look it. That's super cute, I did pretty good. I'm looking at my monitor just to double check myself. Right, not too bad. So on the back side, I think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use, piece of this, just so it does not shift. At all, I'm going to burnish that in a little bit before I remove that backing. And we're going to go ahead and glue these down. Let me move this out of the way. With, this time I'm going to use Fabri-Tac Bobby Kitten. Okay. So this one's going to go on this side. And then this one will go on the other. So that is kind of where we're at at the moment. Now we need, we can get a better feel for this idea here so we can have that one or we can have this one i think i'm i think i'm digging I'm digging the 
coffee stain one just a little better. What do you guys think? Ah, I think I am. I think I like that one just a little better. And I'm still debating. I don't know. We need something else. Something else needs to happen here. Let me think on it. So I've been fussy cutting a lot of these little bitty flowers and things out of the papers. The little papers that we have laying around. Like there's no more pattern on this side. I fussy cut it all out. <laughs> so it was from the paper we just cut all that stuff out. So I was thinking about adding some. They're not glued down. But I was thinking about adding some to that envelope. Do we have any thoughts on that? I mean, obviously, if I glue it down, it's, we're, you know, we're good. But I also feel like I need something down here that's floral. What do you guys think? Ah! Man, I even pulled out my stickers. Oh, I pu punched this out of that paper, too, of this one that we've been fussy cutting. Just like a little blue circle, but, like a blue circle, jeez. It's a circle with blue flowers, is what I meant to say. <laughs> but I don't know about that either. What did I do with the other little pieces of fussy cut? So this was the sheet we've been messing with. And then there's the other sheet. So I was even thinking about putting that. Oh no. I was thinking about putting this blue sticker down here somehow. But I'm just not sure. I just am not sure. I really, really wish there were more floral elements, but there is not. So, I don't know. Let me see here. You are my home. My, you are my home and my adventure all at once. I just, I don't know. Maybe if I had... if I could figure out a way to add some florals and things around it. It might look kind of cute. Oh, let's try it. What's the worst that could happen, right? Yep, let's do that. <laughs> there we go. I made the decision. I just did it. Okay. Okay. So that's looking better. That makes me feel better. So that little cluster of stickers. Now what do we think about this? So what about without... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them up here on the vellum. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue them down. Yes. Instead of putting them on the envelope, I'm going to glue them down onto the vellum. I wish I'd have thought about that before I, I sewed, but maybe not three. Maybe we'll just do these two. Just like that. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue these down. And I'm going to try the glue stick again. And my power, my power, my battery's getting ready to go dead, so if it does, I'll be right back. Okay, so my battery died. I had to change my battery, but I was playing while, <laughs> in the meantime, uh, trying to figure out what I, because I something's throwing me and I don't like it. So I'm thinking we're not going to put both these envelopes here. So these pieces we had printed early on and we put them in our, our uh, crafty tray. There, there's two pieces and I was thinking about using those, but then maybe why don't we just use one? I don't know, thinking. So then these also were from, what did I do with the, I cut these out from that sheet from where the envelope was and I thought about maybe 
using these, but then I was like, eh, I don't know. I'm having such a hard time. What else do I have? I have, I have another envelope. <laughs> we could go to a whole different envelope. No, I don't really like that either. So, let's see. We might just leave it a blank paperclip for now. Not really sure what I want to do. Not 100% sure. Maybe have one of these on here. Because I thought it might be fun to like glue this down and like, well, trim it off straight first, glue it down and that would be permanent. And then that way, that would be like that. All right, that's cute. And then we could stick that envelope there, tuck it up underneath there. This postcard's just too big. Super cute though. I mean, I could cut it down too, but I wanted something maybe long like this. But this is too big too, obviously. I don't know. I might just leave that. Oh, I was gonna tell you while I was thinking, while I was playing and changing my camera battery and whatnot, a whole lot of racket was going on outside. I mean a ton of racket. Birds were just going crazy. Well, we've been having a hawk hang around because there's a lot of bird's nests in our yard. Lots of different types of birds, lots of different families. The birds were just going nuts. So I think that the hawk, we, we've seen him here a couple times. We've seen him here, we've seen him fly away with a small bird. I don't know if it was a baby bird, but it was a small bird. We've seen, anyway, we, anyway. <laughs> so I ran outside to check and there's a big hawk out there and the birds were going big, just crazy. And I shouldn't have chased him away, but I did. My husband says I shouldn't do that. He says that it's, you know, it's natural that I should just leave it alone. But I couldn't help it. He was big. Do you think that, do you think I should have just left him? I don't know. I don't know. I, I gotta, I'm a big softie when it comes to stuff like that. I sure am, so. I think I am gonna go, I am gonna commit, you guys. I'm gonna mark it here, and mark it here, and I'm gonna draw a straight line and I'm gonna cut it, uh oh, let me move that. Where's my one mark, mark it there. There we go, I can see that one just a little better, maybe. So, I chased the big old bad hawk away. Chase the hawk away while I was away. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna glue it down. Cause I'm just gonna commit to this idea. See, I even inked the back of it thinking it would be a loose, you know, insert, but. Nope, not today. So that looks neat. That looks really cute. And then we could have the little envelope here, like that. So now I just need to decide, do I leave this be? Or do I do something to it? Do I add something to it? Or, wait, what if I have... Hang on a minute. Thought. I have a thought. I have a thought. I have a thought. All my scraps are in here. And I have this. where I could do like some sort of journaling card. Maybe we could do, 
maybe like a two and a quarter. Uh, well, let's cut, I'm gonna cut this to two and a quarter. Cut this to two and a quarter. So this is the uh, script lines. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, maybe we'll do that. I'm just gonna randomly pick one of these lines here and I'm gonna trim it off with the, um, with those fun, pinking shears. All right, on that, we're gonna make it a tag. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make it a tag. I'm going to run my... Sometimes you just have to keep messing about until you figure out what you think looks best. You just have to keep playing. That's all there is to it. You just gotta play. So I'm gonna mark the center. This on there. I'm gonna go ahead and punch with a hole punch. Like that, right? So we could go in like that. Yeah. That's what we're doing. We're done. It's we're done. We are done with that. No, we're not. We're gonna we're gonna do something to the corners here, and we're gonna ink it up. Since we got the large angle and the small angle, let's try the small angle. Since it's a skinny tag, let's see what that looks like. That might be cute. Yeah. And then we'll ink it. I guess we could also put a string on it. Yes, I like that better. I like that way better. I like that a lot. Okay. Let's try adding some twine and Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave it just like that. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that's it. We're just gonna call this one done, um, I think. Or this uh, this video done. So I can hurry up and get it edited and uploaded for you guys to have it today. But I think it turned out okay. I mean, we do, you know, I think it turned out really pretty. And I think that's kind of what, you know, we just have to do. We just have to keep playing around. I had a different, complete different idea when I first started filming. Um, I was going to go with this envelope, but I decided, oh, I'll print this one off just in case. And I like that one better. So we've got this extra envelope. I printed two of these off, you know, and I was going to put one on each side, but actually didn't like the way that looked because I was going to put one of these and then one of these and I just didn't like it so now we've got uh, an extra little envelope with a teeny little baby wax seal it's so cute if it'll focus yeah little baby wax seal so now we've got that I like the way it turned out I really think this is better I think this worked out good I wasn't planning on doing any of this it just everything just kind of evolved one thing after another so I like it you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think down in the comments below so that again remember this closes up like this right and then to keep that closed we've got our cute little booklet that goes right in front so I really really like the way this turned out I think it turned out amazing all right, we're going to leave it at that. 
okay? Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel already. And I will see you guys next time.